Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back to our tutorials. In this demonstration, I would like to show you how to take the testimonial slider and copy it from one page into another. Uh, typically, with a lot of the components, it's easier just to copy from an existing page into a new page. Um, so find a page that has that component on it, and I'll show you how to copy it and paste it. Now, the cool thing about the testimonial slider is I'm going to show you two different ways of pasting this into a new page. In the default setup, you'll probably find that it, it it's a full screen uh, component. Basically, there's no columns on the left or the right of it, and, and may be different depending on which template you have. Uh, but in this example, this is a full screen uh, testimonial slider. But you can copy the compo this, this component into another page into a column, and it will automatically resize for you. So that's one of the really cool features about it. Now, I'm going to jump right into Dreamweaver, and I'm just going to open up my index page. And I'll open up the services page. This is the page we're going to copy the component into. Now, when you're copying components from one page to another, um, there's usually two parts to the component. One would be the uh, links, style sheet links and JavaScript files. Uh, another would be the actual component code for the library page. Uh, if we go to our index page, let's start by going to the uh, component style sheet section. Let's just check to see if there are any special style sheets for this component. And the only way you're really going to know is if you sort of read through, there's library, there's components, there's testimonial slider right there. So you just have to sort of read to see what the name of each one is. And it'll always, it's, all of our components go by their folder names. So that's a, in case you're wondering. So testimonial slider, there's a link to it right there. What we'd need to do is, is copy this link. Uh, from the index page into our services page. Now, just uh, another tidbit of information here. Uh, if there was any special script files required that we had to copy as well, we would we would take a look down at the bottom of the list here for scripts, and it would tell us uh, library components, testimonial slider. I mean, the only in this example we have library sliders, full screen slider scripts. So if you were copying the full screen slider from this page into another one, you would copy this style sheet link up here because it's the full screen slider and then we take a look down lower in the page and then full screen slider there we go so to start let's uh, copy the link for the testimonial slider and let's go to our services page and let's find the same editable region in the header and we already have the contact panel CSS style sheet here so we're just going to uh, paste this in like so. That's our testimonial slider there. And next we're going to go back to our index page, switch over to design view, and go find that component placeholder right there. There it is. Good. Now, like I mentioned before, there are two methods or two ways of copying this into the page. Uh, first of all, let's preview our services page in a web browser to determine where we want this to go. Uh, we could paste it if it's full screen, like if we want it to take up the full width of the page, obviously we need to paste it into a section of the page that would allow for that, um, because this is basically a two column page. We have the column over here and a column over here, uh, it goes all the way down to the bottom and then the footer. So we could paste it just above the footer, or we could paste it right up here. Uh, above the our services are here and these two columns uh, because it's a basically it's a call to action type component it's supposed to grab your visitors attention and really add some wow and impact it's not a component I would necessarily stuff down at the bottom of the page um, I would try and put it where it's closer to the top where your visitors are going to be more likely to see it so in, in this example I would put it right up here if it was full screen and if I wanted it to be part of the content within one of my columns, I'd probably put it right in here somewhere. And I'm going to show you both examples. Right. Uh, so we go back to our index page. There's our testimonial slider. If we click on the placeholder graphic to select it in the design window and then switch to the code view, usually Dreamweaver will take us right to that section of code in our page so we don't have to go hunting up and down in the code view to find it. All right. Now, our components are um, wrapped in what we call comment tags. So you, you can sort of see here we have the testimonial slider component. Okay, starting with this, if we scroll down, everything yellow is the actual library component, and it ends with yet another comment tag. So if we wanted to copy just the component itself, we would copy the testimonial slider and its comment tags. I've got it all selected and highlighted. I just copy this here. I go to my services page. 
I'd find out where I want to paste it and this is the one we're going to paste just into the content region so I put my cursor in here and switch to code view yep there I am right there perfect uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, on the outside of these p tags just hit the enter bar and paste okay that's going to paste the testimonial slider into that section of the page let's just save this and preview it and make sure that it works the way we want it to work so now if I hit the refresh button I should see the slider show up in here and resize for me so let's just do that oh there we go and hey look at that right in the middle of the uh, of the column it still has my back and next everything looks great perfect and it works just the way I want it now that's done but what if I wanted to go up here? That's just a slightly different process. I'm just going to do the control Z there. Good. Uh, we still need to have the style sheet up in the header of the page here. We still need that in the header of the page. Uh, but what we're going to do now with the index pages, remember we copied the testimonial uh, slider, just the library component and its uh, comment tags. Now we're going to move up and we're going to grab the entire testimonial slider section and the three div tags that wrap around it. This allows it to be a full screen component and take up the full width of the page or up to 1200 pixels technically because after that um, uh, bootstrap will sort of cap, put a cap on the overall maximum width. But what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this testimonial slider comment tag and scroll all the way down here do, 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 testimonial slider, there we go, and right down till we find the next section. Now an easier way of doing this uh, is to, where you see the container wrapper, just right click, or just click anywhere on the container wrapper, and down here in the quick tag selector uh, panel, I call it a panel, click the div container wrapper tag, that selects everything. All right, so you don't have to worry about grabbing, you know, which div tags to grab or not grab if you're not understanding which ones, uh, uh, how div tags work. So it selects all the code for you. You can just copy it, go to your services page, and then we just need to find a place to paste it. And here's a bit of an easy way of doing this. And this will be typical of most pages. You probably want to paste it right at the beginning of the content uh section right around here so just sort of click on any one of the words that's higher up in that section that's there already switch to code view and you'll it'll at least take you to the right area of the page and what you're looking for is this instance begin editable main and what we're going to do is right under that we're just going to paste it in there okay just like so do 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 do, -do. that's going to put in all our bits and pieces oh too far there it is right there. Okay. And then all the bits and pieces, all the code below it. So I'm just going to save that. Uh, let's uh, go back to our services page. And now when I refresh, this should be gone and we should see it up here, right up here under the icons and whatnot. There it is there. And did you notice that it applied its own background? You see, this is a bit of a different background than what was there before. It has a line at the top and a little bit of a, you know, a, a glow, not I say a glow, but a lighter to darker. Um, effect so that way we've we've copied the component and all of its background graphic and whatnot for that entire section into another page.